Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more Elix 2. And we last left off, our investigation has brought us to the outlaws. We're gonna talk to this dude first, the gate guard. What are you looking at me for? There's a whole city to see. You don't need to know who I am or anything? I know you're not one of those purple ass freaks. You don't need to bribe me, and I don't have anything to tell you. So buzz off. Okay. Okay, then. Say hi to the girls for me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your spending money. What the? You're giving me a Lexit? Just like that? Uh, not me. It's Hector's orders. Every visitor gets a happy little chunk of change. I don't know what he was smoking when he came up with that one. You could thank him in person, but that'd mean dragging your sorry ass all the way to the upper district, and that's closed right now. I'm looking for Viper. He expecting you? Nope. Now where is he? No fucking clue. He doesn't show his face out here much these days. But you're better off not finding him. He's a character. Really, in a class of his own. Hey, mister. This your first time in town? No. Been here like ten um, times. That's a shame. But maybe you're still interested in my offer? I'd like to show you around town. You coming? No. Leave me alone, weirdo. Oh, okay. I'll be on my way. Wait. I think that sneaky son of a bitch stole something from me. Oh, shit, he is fast. Come here, you little crapper. I'm gonna catch you. I like you. Caught you red-handed. You've been stealing from me. Me? No, sir. You must have mixed me up with someone else. Hey, if you're calling my boys thieves, you're gonna deal with me. And you are... The guy who's gonna kick your ass. If you mm. don't get the fuck out of here now. With that little crap sword? Well, your little buddy over there stole my shards. I just want them back. You don't listen too good, do you? Squirt ain't no thief. I think I'm gonna have to smash in that skull of yours. <sighs> get ready for a whole lot of pain! Get started! Not bad. I have no idea why anyone would want to live in this dump. Just look at this place. Shit, man. Oh, good. At You're least I didn't kill him. As you look. So, do I get the shards back now? Okay, okay, okay. Lay off of me, all right? I can't take it no more. Here, here's your money. It took more than this. Where's the rest? Wait, what? Oh, I knew that little shit was lying to me. Hey, man, if you want your shards, you better talk to the kid. That's all he gave me. Hey, do what you want to him. Just leave me alone. I wasn't finished. I have no idea why anyone would want to live in this dump. Just look. You've still got my shards. You really screwed Zack over. Do you really need your shards back? Because I'm really hungry, and I need them to buy food. Oh, why do you have to say that? Fine, Fine just keep it, damn it. Yes. <laughs> You're much nicer than Zack. Thanks. I'm Squirt, by the way. And if you've got any spare food, maybe you could share it with me? Of course, honey. We'll bring you something. Thank you, ma'am. I'll never steal from you again. I'm really sorry. Why does everyone call you Squirt? It's the only name I know. My mother didn't give me a name, and I never knew my father. Got any tips for me? 
About stealing? Sure, I can teach you plenty, but it'll cost you. Not cheap. I've got to fork over most of what I take in anyway. So, what do you want to know? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, how cool. Okay. Oh, I'm just short on the intelligence. It's okay, though. We'll take that, I guess. Okay. That's enough of that. There you go. Okay. Good. I probably won't do that, but it's all good. Get him away. I have no idea okay. why anyone would want to live see. in this dump. Just look at now, this place. Now, where are we heading? Oh, it doesn't say where the... You turned down the wrong alley and you're dead. Mothers tried to raise children here? Unbelievable. Okay, so what does this quest say about what we're looking for? Now, over here to the left, you can't go in there. That's that spot where we stole uh, the journal from. Nope, that's just somebody's house. Dead animal. Who this douchebag has to say, I'm sure to be get out of here. Are you lost? The upper district is closed, so you can turn right back around. Any chance of a friendlier attitude? No. Let's see. Didn't you used to be a gate guard for the clerics? I was. But when the hort fell, I had to change tracks. As you can see, I kept my style. Just a few minor adjustments. In those days, I had to do some crooked shit to get shards. These days, I make money anytime someone fucks up. So if you're planning on stealing, fighting, or murdering, go for it. More money for me. Where can I find Viper? You're barking up the wrong tree. Hector doesn't want him around. Okay, here. so he's not around there either. Try the lower districts. Cool. I heard you shouldn't mess with them. <laughs> All what do I think of it? Better to keep that to myself. Weapon. Strictly speaking, that's true, but. Nah, that's too much for this one. I don't know either. Healing potion or moonshine? Whatever piss you're looking for, I'll give you a good price. Anyone who talks about his wares that way can't be very trustworthy. Let's go, Jax. Hey, don't talk about me like I'm not here. I fucking hate that. Now, are you gonna buy something or not? Can you tell me where to find Viper? Viper? Can't say I know him. Right. How much? You deaf? I said I don't know him. All I got is some hooch. You want? What do you have? Look around. Nothing. Nope, Forget. nothing there. <laughs> is difficult to find. Sorry for the coffin, folks. I'm Somebody fighting off some something. nasty allergies here. Right, so none that way. Maybe. Hey. A hundred shards a day, and there's a discount for a week or more. You bear the risk. You won't get compensation if there's an accident. Conditions understood. Now maybe tell me what they're for exactly? I see I gotta start from the beginning with you. I'm the guy who's gonna make you invincible. 
Seems like a pretty big claim. I drink like a fish, smoke like a chimney, and my gun's got more dings than a ripper's got teeth. But I'm still here, still breathing. So, are we in business? Nope. Let's see. Maybe she'll know. Nope. That's not the one we want to talk to. There there will be a character somewhere in here we, we need to speak to. Oh, Arena. Whoa. Didn't notice you there. I always thought you berserkers always went around in large groups. <laughs> looks like I was wrong. She looks like, yeah. She's a chick from uh, the Morcons. What are you doing here? I'd rather keep that to myself. You understand. Let's just focus on how I can help you. I have goods to trade. Why not take a look? Maybe you'll find something you can use. I'm looking for an outlaw. Goes by the name of Viper. I don't really know him. I've only met him briefly. I had an audience with Baxter. Viper arrived shortly after me, but left again almost immediately. I haven't seen him around since. But this place is such a maze that it's easy to miss people. Sorry I couldn't be any more help to you. Well, thanks for the information anyway. Let's see, so she's got a way overpriced sword. Woo! The A grenade. I'll buy you a grenade. Yep. That'll work. Don't let him get away. Uh oh. I'll take care of that! Really? Who's this guy? Well, obviously I made some very poor choices here. How do you know that? None of your beeswax, but I'll help you find him for a thousand shiny ones. Um, yeah, let's go for it. All right, now start talking, kid. Ugh, I can't carry this much. You wanted a thousand shards, you got a thousand shards. You're a big old stupid head. They're way too heavy. I don't want them anymore. So, you gonna help me anyway? Yeah. Okay. My daddy knows the guy you're looking for. Does your daddy have a name? He does, but you gotta guess it. It's no fun if you don't guess. Okay. Give me a clue. He's the most important man in the whole crater. Baxter is your daddy? Not him. My daddy makes sure no one goes thirsty. You're talking about Mick, the ink. Ah, okay. Bingo! Hey, you're smarter than you look. Your dad said he doesn't know the guy I'm looking for. Oh, you would say that. Okay, I'll ask him again. Don't tell him I snitched. He get angry. You got my word. I gotta go now. See you around somewhere, maybe. Very good. All right, so it's the innkeeper. I basically just ran around. I'm sure I'll edit that part out with those guys. I just waited, you know, waited a minute or two, came back in. They dropped their BS.
This is not the way to go. How do we get to him? Oh, he's on the other side of this wall. Better to keep that to myself. I feel sorry. The cheater becomes the cheat. Oh, I can't agree with that. Bullshit. You know who Viper is. How? How do you know? God damn it. That little hussy's running her mouth again, ain't she? That's none of your business. There ain't nothing but trouble with that one. I swear. Lay a hand on her, and you'll be in much bigger trouble. All right, all right, relax. I ain't gonna hurt her. It's just that if certain things reach the wrong people, my ass is grass, you know? Then there won't be no one around to take care of her. But that's my problem. We're talking about Viper. I do some work for him, delivering some stuff now and again, little jobs here and there, nothing major. I want to meet him. Can you arrange that? You sure are demanding, fella. He's gonna ask questions. What do I tell him when he asks why you want to meet? Yeah, let's do that. We have a mutual friend, Skibor. All right, fine. I'll tell him. Wait till tomorrow night. I'll let you know if the meeting's still on. Oh, now I gotta wait till tomorrow night? Some of these creatures are a real nuisance. Do nothing. You can't do anything wrong. I can't believe us. So does that mean maybe I can find a bed to sleep in? Oh, there's a bed. Not now. Why am I being attacked? I don't like nosy Lola. Okay, okay, okay. Next time, just don't do it. I'm just trying to find somewhere to sleep. Always booze. Hey Mick. Let's see. How's business? Good, good. Anyone who makes it all the way here usually needs a stick. The shelves are full. And now and again, I teach what I know to someone who stops by. So, did you set up the meeting with Viper? Your internal clock is off. Yeah. Sort of Alright, hold on a second, folks. <clears throat> I'll go figure out how to... Don't listen to that stupid shit. If we don't do that... So, did you set up the meeting with Viper? Yeah, and I hope you know what you're in for. Cool. Come on, I'll take you to him. You're a real weirdo, you know. I met body bags chattier than you. We all got problems. Something tells me I wouldn't want to deal with yours. How much farther is it? Not much. Almost there. Oh boy, I'm sure this is gonna go bad. That guy over there is one of Viper's boys. His boss can't be far away. I'd come with you, but... I'll handle it. You head on home. Yeah, I'll do that. Good luck, pal. Ah, there you are. You're the VIP Viper's been waiting for. Yes. Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, so we'll go up here. There you are. Come on in. Don't be scared. Come here. So, you're the other one. The other one what? There was an Albin here earlier. Said his name was Zarek. He was a little too nosy for my liking. What'd you do to him? Nothing. He's okay. We got off on the wrong foot. But I won't hold it against you. Besides, this place doesn't exactly inspire confidence. What's your point? I get it. Give me a sec. I don't need you anymore. Go wait outside. You got it, boss. 
You know, I normally have a stake in everything. Goods, services, you name it. But I've been trying to expand lately, and I'm losing business partners left and right. It was all so promising when I started. But here I go, getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. You're here for Skibor, just like your pale-faced friend. Or should I say, ex-friend. That rat left for the depot when I fed him a few lies. What a shame. One leaves you in the lurch, and the other blows himself up. <laughs> you know oh, about no. that? Of course. And I owe you my thanks for that. If it wasn't for you, that idiot howler would have ruined everything. In case you don't remember, he was looking to relieve you and Skibor of your shards. It's a good thing you didn't get pulled into his game. Skibor never would have succeeded. I think you're being a little too free yeah, with Yeah, something's info. going on here. <clears throat> you should know the truth. Doesn't matter anyway. You can't prevent the attack now. So there's no need to keep up the charade. Uh-oh. Where'd Skibor hide the bomb? Where no one could find it. But, first things first. When Skibor first arrived in the crater, I couldn't tell the difference between him and the rest of the scum. He was just an average-looking guy. But this average-looking guy was buying Elix left and right. So I knew something was fishy. So I wanted to know two things from him. Where did he get the shards to pay for the Elix? And why didn't I ever see him use it? He's made full use of everything else. Everything was a rush for him. Didn't matter if it was alcohol or women. He had no control. He wasn't telling me anything, so I just pumped him full of chems. He was singing like a canary then. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe what he told me. An ALB agent disguised as a human? Genius. Then I got an idea. All I needed for it was a bomb. A human bomb. So the attack on the Alps was all your idea? Of course. Those fireworks were supposed to catapult me to the top. It just didn't pan out that way, as you can tell. How'd you make yeah, Skibor into a bomb? It was easy. Getting him sedated was a cinch. Then I sliced him open and wired him up. Jeez. And it was all thanks to my homemade cocktail of chems. He had no side effects. Well, except for the odd stomach ache. Yeah, I remember that. Some tough man. Same goes for a fucked up alb. How'd you know when he was gonna leave? I knew his routine. <laughs> At least I thought I did. I gave him double the elix and hoped he would deliver the stuff to his client. But that son of a bitch didn't move. He couldn't get enough of the stuff. And I didn't have any more to give him. <laughs> I mean, imagine the situation. He could have gone off if he'd farted and taken half the crater with him. Even though the detonator was only supposed to react to a high concentration of elix, I wasn't sure exactly what would happen. And neither Baxter nor Hector would have found it funny to have their huts torn out from straight under their asses. Luckily, you came along and made everything better. You're pretty calm for a guy who almost started a war. Everyone knows it's not us that has the Alps' attention. It's those stupid purple bugs. Besides, the clerics were the ones who were supposed to be the whipping boys. All I had to do was set Skibor on them. It was a simple trade. Their medal for Elix. That was the deal. But Skibor didn't know it'd be the last deal he ever made. So, this brings up a question. How'd you find out about me? You didn't cover your tracks as well as you thought. <laughs> well, that won't happen a second time. What if I were to offer you a job, huh? You come and work for me? What do you say? Nah. I don't work with or for people like you. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly the kind of answer I'd expect from you. I just can't work with anyone who knows more than I do. And what you know is enough to get me killed. Mm-hmm. It was a mistake sending your guards outside. Mistake? 
That's just the way I want it. The less they know, the better. But since you seem to miss them, I'll bring them back. Tell Skibor I say hello. <laughs> Shit! What was that? Here we go! Get some! Did he get you? Where did you come from? You didn't think I would abandon you, did you? I wasn't sure. No, it's good to see you. Don't mention it. Let's get the fuck out of here before people start asking too many questions. Well. I had the dubious fortune to track this guy down before you did. He distrusted me from the outset. That gave him an advantage, so I had to take action. What do you mean you played dumb? I must have been convincing. His henchmen didn't follow me. Good thing you took them out. I wasn't sure you could handle them all, so why take a risk? Let's sum up the results one last time. We'll huh. go up there, have some peace and quiet. Not bad. At least we got a resolution in this episode. We'll see where it goes next with the Alps. Not quite sure why we have to run all the way over here to have a talk, but whatever. I'm gonna go have a smoke. What you do is your business. Right, of course. Okay, out with it. What did you learn? Skibor is only partly to blame. The Elix became his undoing. How so? His consumption was limited to a minimum. He was supposed to get it for someone. The outlaw took advantage of that and turned it into a bomb. What? You know what that means. It's not over yet. What are you talking about? Listen, Alexander Azox long suspected that Commander Orissa is taking more Elex than allowed. It was my job to find out if his theory was true. You remember our meeting at the Collectors? I was looking for a middleman there. I had no idea that Skibor had taken on that role himself. The Commander is a security risk. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back to the depot. What are we waiting for? Let's get back to the depot. I'm sorry. You'll have to walk this path alone. What are you talking about? I don't know the reasons for Orissa's behavior, but I've learned that it's better to find out before jumping to any conclusions. Except, I'm no longer the right man for the job. You've shown me what it is to be efficient. What it means to make your own decisions. I can't just return to the depot and keep on like before. I want to understand how the world works. To do that, I have to turn my back on the directive. I have to leave the Alps. Azok's not gonna like this. I don't care. The fact that you're going to tell him that to his face more than makes up for it. <laughs> So, what are you going to do now? I'll do what you did. Disappear into exile for a while. But if you want to do me one last favor, cut the commander some slack. I know you two didn't get along, but we owe her a lot. I'll think about it. As a start? Who knows, you might even be able to open her eyes. As I don't understand much about saying goodbye, I won't even try. All right. Take care of yourself, Sarek. I will. But go now. The depot is waiting. Oh, and Jax. Yeah? Thanks. That so was not the way I thought that would end. Ooh, it's awfully dark here. Alrighty, folks. So, we'll stop right there. When we come back next time, we will conf... Front Commander Arissa. So as always, keep your heads down, your health potions up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.